Hey guys, Matthew with Parkway Business Solutions, bringing you a video today to demonstrate how to use Ledger Sync with Accounting CS. While most bank feeds allow you to download transactions, Ledger Sync focuses on providing check images to update the information, as well as the bank statements to follow up with the reconciliation process. To highlight that point, we're going to walk you through the necessary steps to import a bank feed file into Accounting CS. So to do this, let's get started by getting logged into LedgerSync and we're going to head over to the Transactions page. Once you're on the Transactions page, it's going to be important to go through and you're going to filter to the account and the period of time that you want to grab the, the data for. So you choose the drop down here, choose the account that you need, set your date range that you wish as well, and then click the Filter button. By doing that, it's going to limit the information to only what it is that you're requesting for, so you can then prepare to export the details. I'm going to click on the export, and I'm going to choose two OFX. You'll notice that it's now going to download that information, and that usually goes to your downloads folder unless you've set something else specifically. So let's head over to Accounting CS to start the import process. When importing a bank feed file, you'll start off by going to the Reconciliation tab. Once this pulls up, you'll see a list of your different accounts and the reconciliations that have been previously completed. We're in our secondary checking account, and you'll see that we have no transactions that are sitting unmatched, as well as no unmatched statement transactions. So we'll start off by going up to Browse, and we're going to select the file that we want to do the import for. Downloads, this is our most recent one here. Click Open and you'll see immediately it's going to pull up details at the bottom that's the unmatched statement transactions. So on this specific one, you'll see that it's going to tell us we have credits totaling $5,118.75 and total debits of $6,380.14. This information can be verified by simply pulling up one of the statements already in LedgerSync and confirming that the total additions and subtractions equal the same amounts shown at Accounting CES. By doing this check ahead of time, you know that you've got all transactions accounted for, and you can start the process of going through and making adjustments on each of the different line items. So one by one, you'll go through and you'll assign a GL account, either by, if you know the code for the account, you can type it in, or of course you can start to type in and it will try to pull it up for you. And you would make sure that the posting period that they're going to be part of is correct as well. Once you've done all the adjustments that you wish to do, we've done these ones, we can click on Post Adjustments. Those will pull, pull up, and you'll now be able to find them inside the top area under your Deposits and Additions. If I go back to my Bank Import section, I can follow up with the rest of the transactions. Now you'll find that if you choose to select transactions without assigning a GL category, the transactions will be accepted, but be pulled into an uncategorized expense account. Now, as an alternative, if you or your staff have already entered transactions for your business client into Accounting CS, then you'll love how much time LedgerSync is about to save you. Let's go through the same process again, but this time, let's use an account that already has transactions entered in. So from an accounting CS, we'll go in and looking at the transactions, you'll see that this time using the primary checking account, I've taken the time to add a couple of transactions in. So let's do this again. We'll go over to the Reconcile Bank Accounts. I've already downloaded the file that I'm going to need to do the import with, but we'll go to our bank statement import. And you're going to notice now we have unmatched bank account transactions sitting here for 12 and the unmatched statement transactions with nothing there. So we'll go browse, go to my downloads, and it's going to be my most recent file here. Open. And immediately what you'll find is that 12 went straight down to 2. That's because it automatically matched items that were already in the system to your import. One of the most challenging parts of any reconciliation is finding the unique transaction that's missing from the group. Fortunately, when you use Ledger Sync Bank Feeds to validate the information in Accounting CS, any duplicate transactions would be removed and any missing ones would be sitting waiting for you to approve. 
We hope this tutorial on how to use a ledger sync and accounting CS together was helpful. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.